night, but this one counted today. High school football, Chanel at Shaker. In the first quarter, Shaker quarterback Tim Richards keeps the ball and sweeps 14 yards in for the score. Shaker went on to win it 19-7. Good news for Shaker Heights football fans. The Red Raiders are 3-0 and and open up Lake Erie League play this Saturday against Valley Forge. Shaker is eyeing its first LEL title since 1980. Once I get out, no one's going to catch me. Jay White, what are you, Cornell Penland's bodyguard out there? Uh, well, I try to protect him, you know, make sure these guys don't hit him up too bad. I follow him wherever he goes. I'm right behind him. Goes to the unbeaten Red Raiders of Shaker Heights. Lakewood with the ball, and they scored first when Kerry Tice took it in from 7-out, and the Rangers made it stand up for a 7-0 halftime lead, but the Red Raiders came back. Watch this sweep by Cornell Pendlin. He went 35 yards for the score to tie the game at 7-all. Shaker added two more six-pointers in the fourth quarter, and they remained unbeaten at 6-0 with a 22-7 win. Vince Cellini attended this afternoon's game between John Hay and Collinwood and has the... Rising Shaker Heights Red Raiders. Al Raymond's been coaching there for 20 years. He had two Lake Erie League titles back-to-back -back in 1979 and 80. This could be his third. But the visit to the purple-clad Lakewood Rangers was hardly easy. Lakewood missed a long field goal, but later capitalized on a Shaker fumble on the two-yard line. After a penalty, Kerry Thice bolted seven yards up the middle to give Lakewood a seven to nothing halftime lead. Shaker was held without a first down in the entire first half. We got things to do. Shaker did have things to do and they started doing it. Third quarter, Cornell Penlin, number 16, recovered from an early season leg injury, scampered 35 yards for Shaker's tying touchdown. Greg Cummings, 24 yards for the score that put Shaker ahead, and then a little trickery. Ken Gibson passes to Penlin for the two-point conversion, 15 to 7, Shaker. Once more, Tim Richards, number 10, finds Kim Kayat, number 82, all alone for a 41-yard touchdown pass. Shaker wins at 22 to 7. The Red Raiders still unbeaten at 6-0. Lakewood slips to 1-5. Ah, let's go to Shaw Stadium. Shaw with the ball first of all. And watch quarterback Derek Gordon fire a wet ball on a strike to Deion Gray. He outraces the secondary. It covers 54 yards for the touchdown. Cards let it 7-0. Keep playing the game. Evan Balliger with the safety against Shaw for Shaker. And it's 7-2 Shaw on a miserable night. Now following the free kick, Shaker's Paul Stupe goes in from six to make it 9-7 Shaker. Greg Cummings scored in the third quarter to make the final Shaker 16. Shaw 7. For the high school, can't get Misty story everywhere, but it didn't spoil Shaker Heights' parade, even though Shaw in the solid red shirt stunned the Raiders with this 54-yard touchdown pass. Derek Gordon to Deion Gray. Shaker's defense suddenly came alive. Gray is one of the best backs in the area, but he was held to 17 yards in 15 carries. Shaker shoves Shaw back into its own end zone. Safety! Shaker's on the board. Paul Stupe, number 19, just returned from an injury goes up the middle and he puts Shaker ahead 9-7. to seven. Cornell Penland, number 16 of Shaker, sets up another score and Greg Cummings clinches it. 16-7 to seven, Shaker. The Red Raiders are perfect. 8-0. and oh, They clinched at least a tie for the Lake Erie League title. Nobody can remember the last time Shaker had a perfect season. Maybe some historian can time. And here's Jim Donovan with a look at a team who made it to the postseason party in perfect fashion. The last time Shaker Heights had an undefeated football team was back in 1935. Boy, that's a long time ago. This past Saturday, when the Red Raiders shut out Parma 36-0, they finished off a 10-0 regular season. But even a 10-0 record didn't look like it was going to get Shaker Heights into the playoffs. They needed St. Ignatius to lose on Saturday night to Holy Name. That happened Sunday afternoon. They were in the playoffs. Yeah, I was like um, so excited that... I ran around the house a couple of times shouting, and then finally I got my composure back. So, armed with a defense that has carried this team to perfection so far, the Red Raiders go into the playoffs and will play St. Edwards Saturday night at Penny Stadium. The big concern is the Red Raiders' offense, though. At times, they have been late getting into games. I don't know why, because we have some excellent people to run the football, but uh, I don't, I have, we can't put it as a staff, we can't put our finger on why that's happened. When you play St. Ed's, there really are no secrets. It's just power football. They run the ball right at you. Old traditional football of Al O'Neill. Take it. Here we come. You stop us. Okay. If you can't stop us, we're going in the end zone. Yeah, it'll be real physical, but we're pretty physical, too. When Saturday night rolls around, Shaker Heights will be glad that they're playing. 
and that it will take a football team to beat them, and that a computer didn't. I'm Jim Donovan, Channel 3 Sports. Would you do sports? Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you there for a second. <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah, I'll tell you, a big <laughs> football playoff game oh, tonight yeah. that was just a beauty. A shame there had to be a loser. All the sports is next. <laughs> Everybody, high school football playoff action tonight at Finney Stadium at Baldwin-Wallace. Division I battle between St. Edward and Shaker Heights. Shaker Heights came into the game undefeated, and they scored first on this touchdown run by Greg Cummings. They made it 6 to nothing. the Red Raiders. But St. Ed's came right back. Watch this play. The halfback option pass. They flip it out to Danny Edwards. He'll look down the sideline. Adam Averill runs underneath it, makes the catch. Ball game is tied. Six apiece. Two minutes to go in the ball game. You scored on a halfback option. Hey, go right back to it. Watch Andrews keep his composure. Looks like he's going down. Now he's going to throw. Chris Williams, touchdown. St. Ed's wins 13-6. to The first loss of the season for Shaker Heights. St. Joe's and St. Ed's in the league. Making its football playoff debut tonight against St. Ed's. And just like the Ohio State game, the weather was less than ideal for this one. Second period, the Red Raiders slog to the first score of the game. Rob Satterfield off tackle for 22 yards and a 6-0 Shaker lead. But the Eagles answer on their next possession. Dan Andrews on the halfback pass to Adam Averill to tie the contest at six. That's how it stood at halftime. Third period, St. Ed's goes to its secret weapon again. Andrews this time heaving to Chris Williams, who makes a super catch in the end zone. 13 to six. St. Ed's over Shaker Heights. The Eagles will now play St. Joe's. It's to avenge its only loss. The Eagles overcame the elements and Shaker Heights last night. 13 to 6 at Finney Stadium. Shaker scored first on Greg Cummings' 22-yard touchdown scamper, but the extra point was blocked. The Red Raiders led 6 to nothing in the second quarter. Greg Worsh made a nice kickoff return to midfield to set up the Eagles' first score. Now watch this. Dan Andrews, number 24, who rushed for 1,500 yards and scored 19 touchdowns in the regular season, throws a touchdown pass to Adam Averill. The score is tied 6-6 at the half. Shaker, who can you play defense? Led by number 77, Jay White. The Shaker defense held Andrews to only 79 yards on 31 carries. Three minutes left. Here comes Andrews. He's going to pass again. He finds Chris Williams in the end zone. The winning touchdown. St. Ed's 13-6. The Eagles will play St. Joe's here at Finney Stadium this coming Saturday night. Dan Coughlin reporting for Sports Center 8.